I've been ready to go for the last 15 minutes. Now get up here if that guitar, that Suzuki or whatever it is. Well, now that's a good one. I'll tell you what, tonight after the show, brother, we've been jamming up there, been staying up there at Fort Dillon, and uh, all you pickers, it's a challenge. You know, not many of you come around. I know your names. I know the bands here. I invite a lot of pickers. Hardly anybody showed up. What's the matter? Are you scared of Dave Evans? Yeah, somebody gunshot. Sure, watch we'll get a A lot of people come up and listen to what you and J Jay and me and Tracy and everything like that. And the, and the little kids, the two girls, remember? The other band, now they, they come up. Their daddy played the bass and she played the mandolin and stuff. And that was about it. They a good crowd. But I was expecting 15, 20. Uh, musicians to be there, and uh, then it got down to me and Todd and you, Jay. I think so. And yeah. We looked around. Everybody's gone. It's gone. Four thirty in the morning. They don't like the gunsling, Dave. Cause you <laughs> ran them all off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I put my challenge out. To all of them. Marty Raver, Russell Moore, any of them. You know. Now they probably got other shows to play, and that's all right. But I tell them all. Fort Dillon, come up there. Same one play one of the day. Yeah, before I leave this world permanently. Then they can have the whole stage. Then they ain't got to worry about Uncle Dave looking over the shoulder, like Bill Monroe or any of the rest of them. Y'all do a great job, but you know what? Uh, the brotherhood in this music business of bluegrass somehow is breaking up. I definitely remember playing, love you too, honey. We definitely had shows. I played festivals, Lamonia, Georgia, Florida, New York City, Portland, Maine, Grass Valley. And you know, on a Saturday night or a Friday night, the great bands that was there, there was at least one or two members of that group come out on stage and we'd finale. Oh, that was great. You believe it or not? I don't know where anybody got a picture. But this old fat boy got to stand in between the great Bill Monroe and John Duffy. We, we jammed right down at Lexington Master Station. Uh, of course, that's the only time I ever worked that festival. Me and the promoter fell out. Uh, he gave me a check and I took cash out of his ass. <laughs> it don't matter anymore, son. I've quit. This is my license. So I got a right to say whatever I want. But you understand, the thing of it is, I hope we never lose that brotherhood in this music, because that's what's made us. I know, uh, I know the music's changing, and, uh, the contemporary and, uh, uh, type of music, country coming on, it's all mixed together. Shucks, maybe in the next five years, you ain't gonna hear a tradition. But uh, the thing of it is, I hope it carries on, and, 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 and they uh, get along with one another, bury their spites and jealousies. Why old Melvin going, do you know how many times I wanted to pull a gun and shoot that sap sucker? <laughs> but God bless his heart, he, he's here today and we talk back here in the back room, and shook hands, he had a pacemaker put in and a fibrillator. And uh, did you see us a scrapping with oxygen masks on? <laughs> I mean, get real. So it's over. I turned my anger or whatever it was over to the good Lord. And I love them all. You understand? I love all of you. I love all the pictures. And I wish you, from the bottom of my heart, the very best in the business. So we'll do this one more number. And uh, what do you feel like playing, Sam?